This is a Spartan by Gavco. That's tar on the edge from cutting up asphalt shingles. The edge is now very blunt. Just wanted to demonstrate one thing. You watch the tip. And you see it'll struggle with cutting the light grasses now. All these are left uncut. But if we use the recurve area, all gone. And that's one of the main advantages. Even though the recurve is actually blunter than the tip, the curvature traps the grasses and makes them slide along the edge where they're on the tip where it curves up they can slide away from the edge and not get cut whereas the recurve forces them into the edge and the knife will keep cutting in the recurve area on light vegetation long after the tip is still pushing material away and that's one of the points of versatility about a blade like this is that it gives you different areas to work with so you got this area up here for fine carving you got this recurve area right here for trapping your vegetation you get this belly right here for chopping and you got a very fine point here for uh, precision work now you don't always want the trapping aspect of this blade when you're cutting heavier wood that's harder you often don't want the blade to be trapped in the wood because if you don't cut all the way through you can get like a lot of uncomfortable feedback in your hand so on heavier woods you often want to be working up here and if you don't make it all the way through the blade continues it comes out and you cut it on a second pass you don't get that solid bring up here's another of the harder tasks for a knife this is alder it's a very very invasive species uh, one of the nice things about it though is it does enrich the soil so in very barren parts, you'll often see alders come in, and then other nicer trees will come in right behind them. And I've actually got some spruce, pine, fir planted all around in this area, and I don't want to fill up with alders. Now chopping these down does absolutely nothing. They'll just keep growing back. You've got to remove the root bulb. You can get you that time. Got you that time like that and get rid of it. Now of course jamming the tip into the ground again it's not very nice for trying to keep the edge sharp but if you have a rather tough steel like this you're not going to get much in terms of chipping you should just get some impaction and you can, can't really, you can probably see a little bit of there where the edge is now starting to reflect light but again I had some hard things that I need to do today so this was an example of them. I got about 20 of these little things I need to dig up. So I'll get that done now. Here's another alder. Now you sort of want to be careful of big rocks like that. I mean, you don't want to grate the edge into that if you don't need to. There's a big rock right underneath that. Need to tear it right now off the edge. Now, a friend of mine says he has a nice little birch for me, so I'm just going to loosen this up. That's what I was grating into. That buddy right there. Out of the way. So, move these out of the way. Till the soil up. Hopefully, I'll get my birch now this afternoon. A big one there I think yep I'll plant that now you want to be careful of course because you can take a piece off the tip of the knife if the steel is not that durable and you trap it in behind a rock but this is a rather tough steel and though the point is very fine in profile this way it carries a nice bit of mass out there so I'm, I have no concerns about prying it around like that and of course the nice thing about doing this work see got all the tar cleaned off the edge so I have the same thing done about another 20 or so little trees I need to get rid of but I'm not going to till it up because I'm not replanting <laughs>